Hello and welcome back to Gapy's Grow Room. Today's an exciting day because we're going to be starting our peppers in a can for the pepper in a can challenge. So the challenge is to grow a pepper in a 12 ounce can and the person with the most um, good looking pepper at the end of the season will win a prize. So on Facebook you actually get the top 10 winners will win a prize and usually that's in the form of um, seeds or something like that. Um, and Instagram is also doing the contest for the first time this year and I'll put links to those contests in the description of this video. So this will be my third year participating. My first year I ended up with third place and got a nice prize of seeds and then last year I ended up with fifth place and also got some seeds. And it seems to have the competition getting tougher and tougher every year so I expect this year is going to be even tougher. So if you're interested in checking it out, it's not too late to join. Um, I highly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. So let's get started. So the first thing that you'll need to do is remove the top from your cans. And they actually sell tools on Amazon to do that really easily. If you have a really old um, can opener, that may also remove it. But by far the easiest way to remove it is to use a palm sander. And that is what we did with these. So I enlisted the help of Mark to get these removed using his palm sander. And it was a really quick process and they pull right off. All right, now the next thing that we need to do is make some drainage holes in the bottom of each can. So the, what I'm going to do is use a nail and a hammer and we're just going to flip the can over and just hammer some holes in the bottom. So I usually do about three or four holes. So there's one. So there's the bottom of our can. We've got three holes there. So we're just going to go and do that with each one of these. Boy, some of these cans were a little bit tougher than others. All right, next up we're going to be adding some potting mix to these. So I have my cookie sheet here so that I don't make too big of a mess. So I'm just going to put the cans on here. And we've got our potting mix here. This is just a mix of pro mix potting mix. And I've added a little bit of extra perlite. And I've also put a little bit of IV Organics fertilizer in there. So this is going to be our bottom layer of the cans. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those up. So I'm filling it up about three-fourths of the way up and just lightly patting it down and making a huge mess. And I did pre-moisten this potting mix. So it's just, if you haven't seen my other videos, if you squeeze it, it should make a squishy noise, but no water should drip out. So one more thing I'm going to try this year is this Osmocote Plus. This is a slow release um, fertilizer, so this should last about six months. So I'm just going to put a couple or a few little granules in each of the cups. So probably about a teaspoon or so. And we're just going to kind of mix that in a little bit. And I'm just using a pencil here. So the reason I'm doing this just in the bottom part of the can is because when the seed germinates, it doesn't really need any fertilizer to begin with. So I'm going to be doing the top layer just the top couple of inches, I'm going to be using seed starting mix 
which has very little to no fertilizer at all. So we won't burn our little seedlings. So this can has a little bit more than the others. So I'm gonna put some in there. All right. So I'm using Jiffy seed starting mix. So I've got that also pre-moistened in this container. So I'm just going to put, fill up the rest of the cans with, with that. And I'm gonna leave about an inch of space on the top and that's so I can add either some pebbles or some fine wood chips as a mulch so that it doesn't dry out as quickly. We're just going to clean off these cans a little bit so they're not so dirty. All right, so we've got our four cans here all ready to get potted up. And I've got four varieties of peppers that I'm gonna be using this year. And the first one here is gonna go into my locust cider can. This is a Zamora yellow, and I got these from Mark Zamora. And he's, his source was Jimmy Pickles. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this little packet up that I got from Mark and see how many seeds are in here. I was planning on doing about three seeds in each can. Let's see how many are in here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So I've got six seeds here, but I'm only gonna be using three of those. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put three seeds kind of towards the middle, and hopefully one of those will germinate. And we'll close that back up. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of the seed starting mix and cover, cover those seeds up. And I've got a plant tag here um, for Zamora. And this is a yellow variety. And I try to match my, my peppers to the can. So this was the only can that had yellow in it. So the horns of this little monster guy are yellow. So that's why I chose um, this one for the yellow pepper. All right, and then this one here is the Watts Brewing Company Wiggle Dance. It's a wet hot IPA, or yeah, wet hop IPA. I don't drink beer, so I had Mark drink this one for me, but I drank all the ciders. So for this one, I don't have any lime green peppers, uh, but the only one that kind of fit this one, I decided to go with the calico pepper. So calico pepper has a variegated leaves, so I thought this would be a fun one to grow um, in, the, in the can. Okay, it's like a little sandwich baggie. There we go. So we're gonna get three seeds of these. I'll show you how I place them here. So there's one there, one there, and one there. So I space them pretty close together and if more than one germinates, then I'll just pull out any extra ones and repot those into a different container. So we're just gonna tap that down All right, so the last two varieties are both Kang Star varieties. So we've got the chocolate Linzo. So I'm gonna be putting that one in this can here. So this has, um, it's more of an orangish brown, I guess, lettering in here. So this one seemed like the best fit for a chocolate um, pepper. So this is one of Kang Star's crosses. And I got these seeds directly from Kang Star, so hopefully they are good ones. And these are from 2020, so they should be nice and fresh. Okay, that was the Linzo. 
And then the last one here is a Lingria. And I also got this one directly from Kangstar and he actually sent me a little bit of the pod with it. So this was a red pod and this was the only can that had any red in it. Just this little tiny, I think that's an apple that's there on this can. So thought that would be the best can for the Lingria. Yeah, one, these seeds are a little bit bigger than the other ones. So both of these are a Thai pepper cross, so they have some Thai in them. So they're more of a small pepper, so I thought this would be a good pepper to use for the challenge. So now we're just going to give these a little bit of a spritz of water on top to help with the germination. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get these cans put on a heat mat set to about 75 to 80 degrees, and hopefully we'll see some germination in the next week or so. Um, I'll post another video in a few weeks and let you know how everything's going. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you again soon. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook.